Published 0435 Est, the 13th of November 2017. Updated 1229 Est, the 13th of November 2017. Britain will be hit by a 15C chill this month as a three-week winter snap brings snow to the southern England for the first time of the year. It comes as a new warning is set to make you shudder instead of shiver, as thousands of the UK's most venomous spiders desperately try to crawl into our centrally heated homes to beat the cold. Experts have warned that the sudden drop in the mercury will force false widow spiders to seek refuge inside our houses as a widespread frost engulfs Britain. Temperatures dropped as low as 3C across large swathes of the UK last night making it one of the coldest mornings of the year so far. The freezing weather began yesterday as snow dusted parts of England for the first time this autumn and it could get even colder by the end of the week. Meteorologists also warned there could be worse to come after that, with a prolonged cold spell expected to settle over the country towards the end of the month and the possibility of temperatures falling as low as 15 C. Cumbria faced its first snowfall of the season Sunday morning, and fears have arose in Scotland over concern of low grit stocks heading into the winter. Scroll down for video Langdon Beck in rural county Durham has started to freeze over with spectacular ice formations reaching across the surface of the rivers now falls in GELN Muick where a herd of stags have gathered as northern Scotland is hit with plummeting temperatures mist rises from the river Avon viewed from the Dundas aqueduct as the sun rises near Bath in southwestern England a snow plough works to clear snow from the A938 between Carbridge and Darnane Bridge in the Scottish Highlands icy roads in Scotland as the UK experiences the start of what is expected to be a month-long chill, with temperatures dipping to 15 C. A map of the UK shows the outlook for next Monday, when temperatures cold the climates shown in blue could drop to 15 C. In places a jogger runs under trees in Clifton, Bristol, Britain will be hit by a 15 C chill this month as a three-week winter snap brings snow to the southern England for the first time of the year. A snow-covered car pictured on the road in the village in GELN Muick in North Northern Scotland where snow has fallen today experts have warned that the sudden drop in the mercury will force false widow spiders to seek refuge inside our houses. One has already set up inside Janine Williams' house in Kingthorpe, Northampton after a warm autumn, with temperatures above average, much colder weather has arrived in many parts of the UK, signalling the start of more wintry weather for the coming few weeks Picture Dundas Aqueduct near Bath ice forms on Langdon Beck in rural county Durham. The freezing weather began yesterday as snow dusted parts of England for the first time this autumn and it could get even colder by the end of the week. Met office forecaster Sophie Yeoman said we expect the coldest night of autumn with Monday morning as low as 8C in Scotland and 5C locally even in southern England. Snow could fall on the North Pennines into Monday, as well as on Wales and Scotland's hills and mountains. Low levels could see flurries in northern Scotland. Ice is possible and there will be a widespread frost. Midweek turns milder but it becomes colder on Friday and at the weekend, with showery conditions with snow possible over northern hills. There's every possibility of temperatures as colder colder than Monday morning. The following week has an increasing chance of generally cold weather with a risk of snow in places, especially the north. From November 26 to December 10, temperatures look like being below normal generally, with an increased risk of snow at times, particularly in the north. The first snow of the season graced northern England on Sunday, signalling winter, has truly arrived. An experienced kayaker is lucky to be alive after suffering hypothermia due to the Arctic chill sweeping over Britain. The man, in his 40s, became so cold he was unable to continue paddling in Pool Harbour, Dorset. Tourists brave the long walk at Windsor Castle, Berkshire, as temperatures dropped as low as 3C across large swathes of the UK last 9A train of sleepy commuter slopes along the Ribblehead viaduct in the morning light as the sun rises over North Yorkshire today the sun rises over the Washburn Valley in North Yorkshire on a cold and frosty November morning today as temperatures begin to fall as a month-long snap falls across the UK temperatures dropped as low as 3C across large swathes of the UK last night May making it one of the coldest mornings of the year so far than though he was insulated by a dry suit he was wearing. The lone kayaker was overcome by the freezing temperatures after spending 90 minutes on the water. He used his mobile phone to dial 999 but only after several failed attempts because his fingers were so cold. 
The man was found to be in a confused state and shivering when he was rescued by a passing boat and taken to the shore at Pool Harbor at about 1.30 p.m. yesterday. He was cared for by Coast Guard and an ambulance crew at the scene but regained body temperature and did not require a hospital visit. November's odds of going down in the history books have been slashed by Bookie's Ladbrokes. As the big chill grips UK shores, the bookies have been left with little option but to slash the odds in 52 that this month becomes a record breaker for its low temperatures. According to Ladbrokes, there is a also 51 chance that the mercury will dip below 10 C at some point during this week. Jessica Bridge of Ladbrokes said the odds are shivering as much as the British public, and the cold snap doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. A Met Office spokesperson said snow could fall on the North Pennines into Monday, as well as on Wales and Scotland's hills and mountains. Low levels could see flurries in northern Scotland Britain faces a three-week Arctic cold spell, with temperatures falling below that of parts of Russia. A widespread frost is threatening to engulf parts of England and Scotland. Pictured above, the Pennine Way in Cumbria on Sunday morning the first widespread snowfall this season fell across parts of the northern England last night. A covering of snow on the Pennines was a welcome sight for winter walkers taking in the brisk Arctic air on Hartside, Cumbria on Sunday a man wearing a parka jacket brushes the fresh snow off his car on a cold winter's morning yesterday in Tomantool, Murray the first snow of the season graced northern England and Scotland pictured the A9 near Inverness on Sunday, signalling winter has truly arrived the cold weather comes after a particularly mild autumn and the eighth warmest October since records began in 1910. In Scotland, grit stocks are so low that road chiefs do not have enough to cover the amount used over the last two winters. Amid fears parts of Scotland could risk running out of grit, salt stocks are at the lowest in five years, figures from the Scottish Government-backed Salt Group Situation Report show. Scotland has 641,000 tonnes of salt covering salt in stock, on order and in a strategic reserve not be enough to cover the 691,000 tonnes spread in 201,213 of the 645,000 tonnes used in 201,011. Road bosses have previously had up to 713,000 tonnes 72,000 tonnes more of salt in stock at this time of year. The current shortfall of 72,000 tonnes would contain enough salt to grit 163,000 miles of roads or transport Scotland's entire 2,115-mile trunk route network 77 times. Scotland's grit supplies at this time of year have fallen steadily fallen over the past five years, from 713,000 tonnes in 2012 to 709,000 tonnes in 2014, 674,000 tonnes in 2015 and 642,000 tonnes last year, previous salt group situation reports show. A motorist braves the snowy and icy conditions and went out in this morning in Tomatool, Murray. As more snow is forecast, dog walkers donned winter hats and heavy jackets as they strolled through Hartside, Cumbria, on Sunday morning following the first snow of the season. Transport Scotland said Scotland has more salt in stock than the 335,000 tonnes used last winter, but last winter was Scotland's fourth warmest winter for 107 years, with grit used down by half on some recent winters as a result. Cosler, which represents Scottish councils, said salt stocks were more than sufficient. A Transport Scotland spokesperson said we plan across the year for our winter service and there is currently more salt in stock than was used for the whole of last winter. A Cosler spokesperson said Scotland's councils take their duty very seriously. Councils have resilience plans are in place for winter. Salt stocks are more than sufficient from a council point of view. Scotland's Transport Minister Humza Yousaf said our teams work all year round to prepare for winter. The coldest night of autumn is expected early Monday morning, with temperatures hitting 7 degrees Celsius. Pictured above, a walker on the Pennine Way in Cumbria.